Howdy, howdy, Chris here, and welcome back to Garage Noise. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Kia Forte. Let me show you what we got. We'll be repairing a dent in this quarter panel. It got sideswiped here a little bit, uh, damaged this quarter panel, damaged this door. It also damaged inside this door and inside the quarter panel, there's a couple buckles. So we're gonna repair those, pull those out today. Darius is gonna do is jack this up. He's using the airbag system. While this is pushed in, I'm gonna get a sledgehammer in here hopefully pull out that dent on that inner part of that door. So we're hooking right in here. I've got some pressure and I'm gonna give it a little slide hammer. They make a tool that goes from the striker to the door post that holds it, but I don't have that tool right now. So Darius is gonna hold it. Came out quite a bit. Put our spoon in here just to flatten this out a little bit. Okay, so now we know how far that quarter panel needs to come out. So we'll have to pull all this out. Now I'm gonna grind this metal clean with an 80 grit roll lock disc. We'll weld on some of these tabs and we're gonna use our Mo clamp, which slides over these tabs. And then we can pull out that damaged metal. We're gonna flatten out the crowns that were created inside that door pull. jam as pull. Darius pulls and slide hammers this dent out. Okay, slide hammer. Slide hammer it again. One more time. All right, let me take a look at this. Slide this off. Slide hammer. Let's see. We've got this pretty good. We're gonna pull out some of these dents before we pull out this remaining edge. I'm gonna weld this right here. Check this out. So we still got to go a little ways, but we need to leave a little room for a little bit of filler. We got to get that corner right there pulled out and then we got to pull out all this stuff. So I'm gonna do some grinding, grind some areas that we need ground before we pull it out. Like that needs pulled out a little bit right there, but we might do that with the G90E. Okay, so now we're going to grind all this area so we can pull this out with the G90, create that body line again. All these low areas like here, here, and get these all straightened up. So we'll grind this all, whole area to bare metal, and then we'll be ready to get it ready for some filler. Some quick information on the dent tool I'll be using to pull out these remaining dents and straighten out these body lines. This is the Viver G90E. It's a budget-friendly dent tool. Runs around $270. If you want more information on this tool, I've got videos on this tool and I'll leave those links in the description.
Now that I've got this wheel opening edge all straight, we're going to move on to this dent on this rear quarter panel. Now I ground it down. I pulled out the lower ears with the G90E. I tapped down those crowns with a spoon and a hammer. And then I did use some toolmaker's die so I could see those low areas and we could block sand it and pull those out with the G90E and get this ready for filler. Now, if you want to check out a more detailed explanation of how to remove a dent, check out my channel. I've got plenty of videos on that topic. Okay, so we're going to use the G90E and we're going to finish pulling this area here, flattening this out, straightening it the best we possibly can, and then we'll use some filler to repair the remaining imperfections in it, okay? We're also going to grind this down and repair this edge of this door, uh, and then we'll start on the body filler. Okay, so we're ready to apply some filler to this Kia Forte. This Forte is a little bit weird because this area right here is flat and then it has a contour up to a body line that runs right there, okay? So what we'll do is we'll apply a light coat over this. We're gonna 80 grit it down after it cures and that'll just fill any of the low areas and then we'll put another finish coat over top of this. So if you notice, I pulled this quarter panel out and it's in just about an eighth of an inch right there from this door. So we can build up this filler just a little bit to get it straight. It's not in very far, just a little bit. This is the U-Pull Lightweight Gold. I, I do like this filler. It's not super expensive, so it's reasonably priced and it's very smooth, sands very easy. Um, there's a lot of different fillers out there and I'll be trying some new fillers for you guys, giving you my opinion on them. But we're gonna mix this up we're folding it in until in it's all one uniform color. We want to make sure there's no streaks. Once again, you don't want to stir your filler. You don't want to introduce air. And this is actually way too much filler for what I'm doing. But we got the spot on the back part of the quarter as well and in the jam. But I think what we'll do is just lay this in here. It's going to be a thin coat first. Don't want to get too crazy, too thick. Now down below here is where a molding sits. So this is not gonna have to be perfect. We're gonna make it straight, but we're not gonna spend a lot of time down below here, okay? We just wanna good, get a good coat of filler laid in there. And we'll clean up these, uh, the clip, clip mount holes here after we're done. And I'm going to open this door up here in a minute. Open this up, clean that edge up. All right, and then what I'll do is just get a little bit on my finger here. This is starting to harden up and I'm just gonna spread it in this groove here. We'll have to put some more in there, but I'm gonna let that dry up just like that because it's starting to get hard. This is what you call a cheese grater, Bondo rasp, whatever you want to call it. But what it does, it has coarse teeth. 
on this side, this one's curved, a half curve. It's easier to use that way. And you're not using this to dig into the body filler. You're basically just using this to shape it to all this excess filler. We're going to shave that down. It's going to create less dust. It's just going to be a quicker process shaving it down with this tool. These are really inexpensive. See how it shaves it down nice and easy. And you want to catch this just when it's just after it starts to harden up. Once it gets too hard, this doesn't doesn't work near as well. So, and I'll kind of, sometimes I kind of use it like a block. And if you get too soft, it'll actually it'll peel the bondo. So you don't want that. This I don't really need to shave that. There's not a lot of filler in there, and we'll just hit that with the DA when it's time. Now we're gonna run over this and just basically smooth it out with some 80 grit sandpaper and then we'll reevaluate and apply another coat of filler. Okay, so I need to sand this contour here and get that body filler out of there, get that straightened out. So I'm gonna use this round block and we're just gonna block it in an X pattern right in this body line. I'll mark off this line right here so I know where to block, and then we'll block it with this. So here's our body line tool. So low right in through here. I'm gonna put another skim coat over this. I'm gonna leave that tape on there. This is gonna be a light coat. I'll probably do this dent same time we lay in some filler there. I'm gonna pull this tape. Ends up. All right, that's it for that one. Since we have some extra filler, I know I need some right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and I'll put some in here. So we got some 80 here. Now I'm going to apply some filler on the right side of that body line. We got the left side all straightened out. So we'll put a thin coat of filler there so we can block that flat. While that filler's curing, we'll go ahead and block this quarter panel. Again, starting off with 80 and you wanna progressively work through those sandpapers, 80, 180, 320, and then 600 before paint. This particular repair is a little bit more difficult. It has a lot of body lines and body contours that we need to make sure are correct. So I'm gonna use a piece of tape here. This door has a swooping body line that goes up towards the quarter panel. And we're gonna use that tape to form that body line correctly with some icing. So we laid in a coat of icing on that door. And we also have to lay some in this door jam to get that all smoothed out, fine tune any of those scratches that we might have missed and any little pinholes that we might have missed. 
So I use icing, which is a polyester glazing putty or finishing putty, just kind of like insurance. As After I have my body work straight, everything's in good shape. We lay a little bit of icing in there. To, it sands real easy. It's really smooth, and it just finishes off everything nicely, removes any of those small scratches or imperfections that we might have missed. I'll just use a little bit of icing and my fingertip to smooth out that lip in this door jam. It's pretty much straight, but I just want to smooth it out in there so we can have some material to sand everything out. Now I'll finish blocking this door. I'll mask off that body line and then we'll block up to that tape and then we'll switch that tape and we'll block down to it to keep that body line crisp and sharp and just like OEM. The only thing left is to finish sand this body filler with 320 grit sandpaper. That's what I did there. We went ahead and put two coats of urethane primer on it. The repair looks good. The body work looks good. Now all we have to do is prep out this primer for paint. We'll do that with 320 grit sandpaper and then we'll run over it with 600 before we apply our base coat. Next, I'll teach you how to prepare panels for paint, how to mix up your paint and lay down a beautiful looking base coat clear coat finish all that in the next episode so make sure your notifications are turned on listen i appreciate each and every one of you watching and if you want to learn more check out one of these videos now we'll see you next time on garage noise